Good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on the bridle reeving on these 4100s. Mine came factory reeved. I'm, I'm going to assume all of them are. And even mine had jumped a couple of pulleys. And it's obviously a it's obviously a problem. And of course if you buy one of these from somebody used yeah they when it gets shipped it, it jumps those pulleys and there's there's not much else you can do about it so I'm gonna go over how this thing is reeved so every everyone can re-reeve them because taking it apart would really be a bummer uh, it is typical as in it, it does take two drums you can see both of them right here both the lines coming up it does use two drums one wire there is no tie off there's a, a crossover so to speak or equalizer as they tend to call it on these Manitowocs so <clears throat> here's a quick view of what it looks like I put the paper in there so you could kind of see where the wires go I'm gonna go around to the other side here and get a quick look on the other side And down here is the crossover. You can see the, the one wire goes in here, comes across, and comes back up here. Now I'm going to start at the beginning, and, and it's not going to matter whether you start on this side or this side. But I'm going to do this side because it's closer to me. So this thing starts reeving right here comes off this little pulley and it's going to go up here to this first pulley up here now if they're jammed in here try to pull this out so you can get get a grip on that thing I I use these you can see that this one here is really thin this one's a little bit bigger and this one's even bigger this one can sometimes get in between In here like this it's gonna be hard for me to hold this camera and do this but there you can see it sticking through there and and I use this one because it is real real thin and it does make it through two of these and I grab these one on this side and one on this side Where's my little thing? Wow. And then on this side. And then pull both, pull both sides. This side and, and this other side here. And then wrap it around. <clears throat> Alright. So here we are on this first pulley here. It's going to come around that. And it's going to go to this first pulley. down here come on focus for for John okay it'll come on the first one it's gonna come up to this second pulley here back around to this side and it's gonna come down to here oh, let me put this back in so we can see this a little bit better And the second one is going to come right down here on this second pulley here. Coming around to this side, it's going to come up from this pulley up to this third one. And here's the, here comes the kind of tricky part. Actually, as it's coming around this way, after this third one, it's going to come down to the equalizer on this side over to this side and then back up to this inside pulley here coming around to here it's just going to come off of this first pulley here and down to this first one over here on the inside I 
think you can see it there. And we're almost done. <laughs> it's going to come around from here up to here. We're on this middle pulley now. <clears throat> and back around this side, it's going to come from this middle pulley down to this second pulley down here. That one. It'll come around that. And then up around here to this last one. Come on, focus up real quick for John. And come on to this last one here. And then from here, you can see it's going to come right down here. Down there. And then down to the drum. And there's your full reeving of these the bridle on these 4100s. Put this up here so you can see how that is. This only took a couple of minutes to fix. There's, there's plenty of room to mess around with it. I would definitely leave some tension on the bridle. Hook it up to your main boom and have a little tension on it so as you pull on these things, they don't start... That they grab the pulley and they don't just hang, so to speak, if you know what I mean. And being already done, it is done correctly. You just have to re-spool the wires. And it isn't, it isn't really that tough. I've got seven minutes explaining it. And it probably only took me five to fix it. Just pay attention to what pulley you're on, where you're coming from. It was pretty easy. The manual does not give any reeving for this thing. I'm holding it here for a while so you can get a real good look at that. It's, it, it is basically pretty simply done. You can see how this first one comes from down here, out of the drum, and it comes to this, this first pulley. And then you just wind around these pulleys until you get to the, in here, inside, and you get to the, the crossover. And then it's just the same thing up on the other side. <clears throat> Don't feel like it's impossible to do. It is very simple and very easy. You can clearly see this coming out of the, the equalizer and going up to that first pulley. Put this around over here. Get a good get a good look at this one. And you can you can see how it everything goes straight. Not too difficult. <clears throat> Uh, if anybody's got any better ideas, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, all I'm trying to do is help people get these things re-reeved. I'm sure everyone comes with a jumped pulley or two. <clears throat> Some of them, all of them are jumped. Here's your two coming out of the drums. If you have any any questions, of course, throw them in my comments. I'm pretty good about answering them, and if I need to, I'll do. I'll even do another video for you. But I'm hoping this pretty well clears up how this thing is done, and uh, when you get your 4100, it's easy to re-reeve. I know a lot of you guys are pros at this, and this video isn't going to do you any good. <clears throat> But guys like me that aren't the pro, I bought this, I had to figure it out. So, I'm going to try to make it easy for everybody else. Okay, guys, uh, as far as reaving these hooks, um, there's not much to do on them. Uh, they do have tie-offs. So, you could come up either side and just... 
reeve across and tie it off on one of the tie offs up there. Uh, I use the jib, so I got my jib tied off up here, and that's on the little tie off that comes on the jib. You can see that's on that little tie off. They give you one. I like the manis, they're pretty good about that. So there you go, everyone. Um, it is not the same as this 4100. The ringer is a totally different setup in its own way. And if it, that comes jumped, well, let me know if you need any help on one of these and I'll get a better uh, reaving video on how this one's done. If anybody needs it, it is tied off. It's tied off right up in here. You can actually see the, you can see it in the, the little black thing. That's, that's a tie off. <clears throat> that one's different. If you need help on that, let me know. I'll, I'll shoot you a video on that too. But this one seems to be the bigger deal. It's a very popular crane. I love this 4100. You can do a lot with it. And pose it how you like them. All right, y'all. I hope that helps uh, everyone get their reaving on these uh, 4100s down. Good luck with them, everybody. Have a great day now.